Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Nine Mile Swamp. Cheryl's dying, was it?
Maverick Child, that's a song by David Ray. David Ray is a pretty, pretty unknown artist. He was uh, once a guitarist for Ian and Sylvia. Um, his, uh, his records, unfortunately, seem to have vanished, and uh, I only found, I was able to relearn the song by finding a YouTube of somebody playing a very scratchy um, record, but I was really glad I found it. Here's another song by David Ray. It's called Leaving in the Evening. I'm leaving in the evening Gonna go to Tennessee I'm leaving in the evening Gonna go to Tennessee Well, the money I make won't fill my pocket And the women make a fool out of me Follows me wherever I go My mama bought a chicken She thought it was a horse Put it on the table for the 44 of course Dad began to holler Kids began to cry We'd all understand in the street by night Ought to go to Arizona Get myself a cattle spread I'm in a old, old prospector Where the bus is flying over my head On the head, the bus is flying over Brother pales papers and a sister pales sin. The old man should cry and picking out a fleece. I'm in trouble from my neck to my knees. I'm gonna go to Chicago, get some blood in my shoes. Well, I ain't never been a doggone loser. Cause I never had nothing to lose, to lose. Never had nothing to lose. So that was, uh, as I said before, uh, two David Ray songs. Uh, this next song you might recognize, it was, a, it was a hit in the 60s, and it was written by Sylvia Fricker, uh, also known as Sylvia Tyson these days, and uh, it's a song called You Were On My Mind, and it sounds quite different from the hit, the hit record, I think you'll agree. <laughs>
walk away in my blues. Got up this morning, you were on my mind. You were on my mind. Got some aches and got some pains and got some wounds to buy. Sylvia Tyson, yeah, uh, that's from Ian and Sylvia. And this next is a uh, is a song about uh, playing in bars with uh, traveling with a band for seven years and uh, playing in bars sometimes three nights, sometimes four nights a week uh, back in the seventies. And it's uh, not surprisingly called "Still, Still in These bars. bars," and it features Perouche the Parakeet. On <laughs> Say hello to some, some people before we oh, yeah. play it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Got our usual with mom. I see Blaze's there. name. Hi, Blaze. Blaze, Michael. Hi, Michael. Um, Ruthie's listening too. Hi, Ruthie. Hey, Ruth. And I see Craig signed on here. Hi, oh, Craig. And Wanda. I see Wanda's here. Yeah. And who did I miss? Did I miss anybody? It's so nice to see friends on. And yeah. When people come back. That's a, that's a real compliment. Thank you. Yeah, and if you are watching, uh, just drop us a line so we, so we know you're there. And if we don't answer you right now, we'll. We love getting back to it later. Still in these bars? Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> By the way, this is dedicated to, to my late friend Buck Dilly. Mm -hmm. Singing my songs and I'm still having my fun. 
Okay, um, this, this next uh, piece is called The Ties That Blind, and it is from our album Heart, Mind, and All. the blind and now it's time for our poem which is really apropos um, I think that uh, most of us in school uh, I, I think I was in sixth grade myself uh, when we read the Odyssey and uh, and we learned the story of Odysseus which in in the Latin version of it is called Ulysses uh, and this is a this is a poem by Alfred Tennyson which uh, surprises some people because Tennyson has been really out of favor for a number of years, uh, a lot of people seem to think that his verses, uh, uh, perhaps a little um, over rhythmic, maybe 
little over rhymey maybe, but he really was a master of that genre. Uh, when I first heard this poem, I think the first time I heard it, when it was, it was read by Ted Kennedy, of all people, because Kennedy was, you know, getting, getting on in age and, and not well, and um, still fit, felt he had something left to do. So this is, the, this is a poem about Ulysses, come back from Troy, having sailed through everything, living in Ithaca, uh, feeling his age and saying, you know, I, I just can't sit around here anymore. I, I'm old and I still have something yet to do, some great adventure to go on. Uh, so this is an inspiration, and um, I think I'll dedicate this to all my older friends. <laughs> this is called Ulysses by Alfred Lord Tennyson. It little profits that an idle king by this still hearth among these barren crags Matched with an aged wife, I meet and dole unequal laws unto a savage race that hoard and sleep and feed and know not me. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly, have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone on the shore. And when, through scudding drifts, the rainy Hyades vexed the dim sea, I am become a name for always roaming with a hungry heart. Much have I seen and known, cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments, myself not least, but honored of them all, and drunk delight of battle with my peers far on the ringing plains of windy Troy. I am part of all that I have met, yet all experience is an arch wherethrough gleams that untraveled world whose margin fades forever and forever when I move. How dull it is to pause, to make an end, to rust unburnished, not to shine in use, as though to breathe were life. Life piled on life were all too little, and of one to me little remains. But every hour is saved from that eternal silence, something more, a bringer of new things. And vile it were for some three sons to store and hoard myself, and this gray spirit yearning in desire to follow knowledge like a sinking star beyond the utmost bound of human thought. This is my son, my own Telemachus, to whom I leave the scepter and the isle. Well loved of me, discerning to fulfill this labor by slow prudence to make mild a rugged people and through soft degrees subdue them to the useful and the good. Most blameless is he, centered in the sphere of common duties, decent not to fail in offices of tenderness and pay meet adoration to my household gods when I am gone. He works his work, I mine. There lies the port, the vessel puffs her sail, there gloom the dark, broad seas. My mariners, souls that have toiled and wrought and thought with me, that ever with a frolic welcome took the thunder and the sunshine and opposed free hearts, free foreheads. You and I are old. Old age hath yet his honor and his toil. Death closes all, but something ere that end, some work, of noble note may yet be done, not unbecoming men that strove with gods. The lights begin to twinkle from the rocks. The long day wanes. The slow moon climbs. The deep moans round with many voices. Come, my friends. Tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off and sitting well in order smite the sounding furrows, for my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until I die. 
It may be that the gulfs will wash us down. It may be we shall touch the happy isles and see the great Achilles, whom we knew. Though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, and not to yield. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah, I actually misread the last line. It's to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield, which I, as I remember, Ted Kennedy delivered quite well, <laughs> even with his Boston voice. So this is a, Ulysses, of course, is a story from uh, Bronze Age, Greece, uh, 7800 BC or so. And uh, the reason I chose this is because I, I have a poem about a man who lived about 300 years later, uh, who was called the great Alexander of Macedonia. And this is called, let's see if I can remember what this is called. It's a song I haven't, uh, haven't done. Shine on distant horizon. <laughs> yes, it's called Shine on Distant Horizon. As you know, Alexander conquered the known world.
shine on distant horizon. Yeah. It's time to switch guitars. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, sorry we're backwards. We had a Facebook glitch, <laughs> but it makes everything fun, I guess. It makes me left-handed. <laughs> yeah. You're ambidextrous. As we should probably shouldn't have told people because it'd be pretty cool to be able to play guitar right-handed or left-handed. <laughs> One time I was driving in my car and I thought about playing guitar left-handed and it really scared me. I had this weird feeling that, you know, somehow or another I would, I would when I played my guitar, I would come back and I'd be all spastic. <laughs> oh, Got to plug it in. It is plugged in. Got to turn it on. Plug it in, turn it on. <laughs> Uh, this is a song called Julia in Running Shoes. Oh, yeah. okay. And this features Charlotte on some really nice harmonics. Yeah, and if Albie were playing with us too, he'd be playing some really cool bass parts as well. Yeah, this song is in uh, six, is in four, six, and seven. Are you ready, Dar? Yes, I am. One, two, three, four. finish up with a with a song I like a real lot. It's a song about dreaming that you're on the beach, which uh, is about, uh, I guess, what we're doing now. But uh, it'll happen. There will be a summer next summer, no doubt. 
In fact, <laughs> the last few days has been so warm, I've been thinking maybe it was going to be a summer this winter. There might, maybe, but you never know. Yeah. But before you play, yeah. I just want to announce some uh, shows of people that we know. Yeah. Um, Joe Giglio had an especially wonderful show this oh, afternoon. Oh, yeah, he was really hot. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Joe. Um, he happens to be tuned into our show tonight, too. Um, but check him out, Joe Giglio, on Sunday afternoons at 2 o'clock. Right. He plays really great uh, jazz guitar, a mix of his own right. tunes, cover tunes with interesting takes. Do you want to say something? Yeah, like? let me say, too, you have to go to his Facebook page. And, and uh, Giglio, let me spell it for you, because uh, we're saying it because, well, you know, you know, I'm, know I'm half <laughs> Italian, so I, I get this. Uh, but he spells his last name G-I-G-L-I-O, like Giglio. Uh, so write that down. Don't miss a Sunday afternoon with Joe because he's really fabulous. Or you and can... He's a great guy, and you'll love his cat, and you'll love his guitar <laughs> playing. And yeah. uh, he's, he's a great jazz player. He plays some really complicated riffs, and it's Oof. wonderful. But he, a lot of his songs are songs that you recognize, so it's, uh, it's really, really, really nice jazz music. Yes. And um, you can all see his name in the, in our, the comment feed, too. He's, <laughs> he's made a few comments here. Also, um, Craig Ellis, who happens to be listening, does a live show, not on Facebook, but on streetjelly.com on Tuesday nights um, at 7 o'clock. So check out streetjelly.com for Craig Ellis. And when is Margie on? Margie Margie's Zins. on Monday afternoon, uh, early evening, I guess. Um, and Lara Hope is on Mondays also Monday at 7 o'clock, yes. So. And there are lots of other great live music, music shows out there, so if you, if you find some, take a listen, because they're really worth it. On the border. And uh, we hope, hope you folks have a wonderful, lovely holiday. Please be safe. Mm -hmm. Listen to what the doctors say. Get tested. And if you haven't had your three shots and you're getting together with different households, please think again. Uh, actually, why am I saying this? What am I speaking to? Yeah, why? Let's, Our, just, let's just play. <laughs> the people On come the to see us play are the nicest <laughs> people in the world. <laughs>
so much have a wonderful week we hope to see you next sunday night at the nine mile swamp yes and uh since we're backwards our technology doesn't really work <laughs> so i had to do it quick you can hold it in the mirror i hope i did it right yeah i made a heart because i couldn't write all those words backwards really fast while kurt was reading the poem thank you for joining us we really appreciate having you as friends and listeners be well Happy holidays to all of you.